Alright, so if y'all haven't heard yet, uh, Alex Jones interrupted uh, the Young Turks at uh, the Republican National Convention. And it went down. Chang, at first, he was really calm and everything, but things changed as soon as Alex Jones tried to put a uh, shirt of Bill Clinton with the words rape on it to make it look like a 2008 uh, Obama ad. Like, with like the red and blue and the big tan uh, color. But, you know, it wasn't in good taste. Um, it wasn't in good taste at all. And uh, I think Alex Jones called Anna Kasparian like a Saudi Sally, like a supporter of Saudi. Then Chang went, he went, I was like, you know what, dude? Start taking off his mic. His friends tried to hold him back. And they basically had to like rush Alex Jones. And Roger Jones, Roger Stone was there. If y'all know anything about Roger Stone, he's a horrible human being. Uh, he's a hatchet man. Literally, his, his job is to lie about people. And no one who calls himself a serious uh, person of conscience or a person of who really wants to know the tr truth should trust a word or an image or a whisper from Roger Stone. So, if it came from his two lips... Don't do it. Don't listen to it. Don't even take it for it's worth it's worth its weight. It's not even worth its weight in paper. Um, it's a waste of paper for his words. But that's my opinion. But Alex Jones saw I did it for his viewers to get more ratings because he has such a small following. The Young Turks are more progressive, therefore listen to more their stuff versus Alex Jones who's like a conspiracy everything's a conspiracy so there's that that's why I think it happened but you know overall it's pretty entertaining to watch so I'll see y'all later bye